So some of you might be asking, is it the right time to start off the PMP preparation right now? And I am reaching out to you today by saying, yes, this is the best time to start off your PMP prep. Why? Because you want to be a PMP by the end of 2021. So let's get started. My name is Kavita Sharma. I'm the author of Past PMP in 21 Days book series. So today's agenda is how should I start my PMP preparation? There are so many things some people say that you should read PM Box 6 or PM Box 7. How should I start? Where should I start? What is a typical PMP roadmap? You know, your journey look like. What is a successful PMP journey? I'm going to talk about that. I'm also going to put some thought in your mind to select the right coach for yourself. Um, not me, it would be anybody, but what should you consider while selecting a training provider or a coach? And then what are the best practices for you to pass that PMP exam? Okay, the new paradigm. Let's see. You have PMBOK 7, which is just released. You have agile standard or practice guide available from pmi.org and some people have been saying that you should do um, you should refer to pm box sixth edition as well now listening to all of them I'm gonna leave you confused i'm sure i myself was very confused when i heard pmi saying you should not leave PM Box 6 because that is also one of the key material to read to pass the PMP exam. Um, you might be hearing few more words called eco or LO choice. So I'm going to talk about what is eco. I will give you a walkthrough of the eco as well. And I'll give you a walkthrough of something called PMI LO choice student material. So this is the file which you see on your screen. This is called ECO. I have put in TOC out here. Um, the current ECO, so ECO is not new. ECO has been there for the PMP exam from, from the time PMP exam started. What is ECO? ECO is PMP examination handbook and it keeps changing as the time change because a project manager has to stay current. Um, with the current trends and so on. So PMI generally changes ECO every approximately three years. So this is the exam content outline. What does it mean? It says that in case you have 100 questions, I'm really bad in math, so I'm just going to give an example. PMP questions are 180 questions. Um, so let's say in case there are 100 questions in the exam, 42 of them going to come from people domain. 50% of the questions are going to come from process domain and 8% of the questions are going to come from business environment. Um, total 100% uh, you know, coverage. So when I say that total questions in the PMP exam is 180 questions, how many questions are going to come from processes? Tell me. You know the answer. 90 questions. Oh, my math is not that bad so people skills are here you would have you should be able to understand and manage conflict lead a team understand performance stakeholders plan trainings monitor the outcome build a team understand issues uh, work with your team collaborate um, understand virtual teams build ground rules for your team understand and ensure your team does well by understanding their emotions. So EQ is one of the core subject which is introduced in the current eco to help you become a better manager. Let's look at processes. Um, you have processes which is, you know, value. How do you deliver value? Hum, communication, risk, um, stakeholders, budget, budget is cost, resources, schedule. How would you create schedule and manage schedule? How would you ensure that you give deliverables? Whatever customer wanted from you, you have provided that. Um, manage scope, manage changes, procurement artifacts so some of you who have been um, with PMI or listening into these kind of videos 
or have seen PM Box 6 would be instantly able to relate that what I'm what currently I'm talking about is knowledge areas of PM Box 6 and then closing um, domain 3 is business environment here you should know as a project manager what your seniors are going through there are changing uh, compliances there are regulations government regulation changes um, the portfolio manager is um, working to provide value to the customer or users so how do you build benefits and value in your project how you should support organization changes and so on so that is the eco what is eco pmp examination content outline examination e c o eco now we know what was eco let's look at another thing called student handbook by pmi now this is something which you should be able to get access once you register for any course a virtual live class or a classroom session your rep or now they are called atp education provider should be able to give you access to allo choice using a code um, what is allo choice if you go to a website called pmi.lochoice.com you should be able to land on this page you can log in using your own credentials which are pmi credentials and things should be good um, site is slightly slow i'm gonna be waiting for okay and here once you click on add a course a coupon code which is given by your atp you should be able to utilize that and click on enroll or like me you would get a button like this once you enroll once you have that coupon code enabled for you you would be able to see the student manual here should be able to download them how does it look like it looks like this so this is the student edition and it has few topics now let's look at those topics here so the topics are the divided into five topics um, creating a high performance team starting the project doing the work keeping the team on track and keeping the business in mind so all the trainers are teaching through this courseware um, the courseware given by pmi through allo choice is compliant with eco so you don't have to worry about reading pm box 6 or pm box 7 or agile practice guide just focus on whatever your faculty or coach is coaching you on so um, the first one these are the uh, slides which are given by pmi you should have access to them once you go through them similar content everybody teaches you the same thing so these are the two things you should be focused on in fact the only thing which you need to focus on is the material given by pmi and no choice to you and the questions what is a trusted roadmap to become a pmp i have 100 percent pass rate i advise everybody to follow this roadmap what is it your journey should have three stages the first stage is understand second is evaluate and third is simulate now what is it understand is go slow and understand each and every topic for example remember building a team ensuring you understand the team morale planner training and things like that so understand concepts map the tools and technique with your project apply them and get 35 pdus so at this particular stage what you need to focus on is understand the concept it's gonna get you kick started towards the pmp journey however a pmp workshop would not enable you to pass the exam it will just help you to understand the concept the second stage is evaluate um, once you have gone through a workshop or a book you should be able to evaluate your knowledge understand and see which questions are not correct and why build on your gaps and um, practice the third is simulate 
um, now you have understood the concept you know you know the topics you have evaluated yourself still the third phase is very important because you have to do 180 questions in approximately um, four hours um, including the break etc so um, some of the people I have spoken with they get confused by doing so many questions in one go um, some people are not able to manage time and that's very important for you to go through the stage called simulate it will help you uh, navigate the PMP exam on the final day so um, what are the resources you have to pass the PMP exam and I'm talking about kavitasharma.net um, you can attend a live session you can see the live sessions at kavitasharma.net I focus on obviously have fun in the class understand concept and a um, lot of things if you need to understand more on the style of the class you can just go through there's a video on you know how do I conduct classes there are pre-reads we have in class discussion and there are homework um, because we meet for a certain time in the class I really want you to do a lot of quizzes after we say bye or before we come you I need you to prepare so um, you are fully engaged with the classes map your understanding with the project and you get 35 PDUs the second stage is evaluate this is 21 days plan wherein I have asked you to read something um, and then once you have read that you evaluate your knowledge by doing certain questions and build on your gaps simulate is PMP style of questions in case you do not have time to join my classes you you know you are not free on Saturday Sundays for those four hours or weekdays for those two hours um, and there is a hectic schedule which you have you can go for another uh, way of learning called PMP mentorship what is it you are given access to all the pre-reads the way I have asked my classroom session people to go through the pre-reads um, so you are given pre-reads you are also given pre-reads of the in live session classes um, that way you feel like a class student yourself so you do pre-reads you go through the session recording of the class and then you go through one-on-one -on -one coaching with the mentor and then the homeworks so all of that is part of uh, you know you feel like part of the class plus you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with the whichever coach you select at your time at your location and the second phase is evaluate and simulate if you want to go and check the mentorship you again can go to kavitasharma.net and understand the third if you don't want to start off with you know a classroom session or a mentorship program you want to start off with thin and lean concept then you can start off with a book um, so PMP study guide is the book which would help you learn concept it has theory and it has quizzes to help you understand theory it's very um, easy to read and it's it will help you understand your knowledge in between so uh, build on scientific measures of you know learning um, evaluates your learning it is based on something called Bloom's taxonomy in case you get time please read that um, the second book is ITT toolbox this is a book which has everything at one place um, updated for agile so in case you would want to see you know what is new what are the keywords um, you can just go ahead and buy the book however it's a supplementary book to be read along with study guide or to be read along with this it's not one full-fledged book it doesn't have quizzes it doesn't have questions uh, the PMP practice test is a book which will help you build on your knowledge by doing evaluate so um, you can select whichever book whichever stage you are at and buy those book simulate is part of the test prep kit and is available online 
few things to look for in your PMP coach. So let's talk about it. The first thing is the teaching style. There could be four hour session or there could be eight hour virtual live session. Do you have stamina to sit for eight hours on your Saturdays or Sundays or weekdays and continuously hear a person talking? Um, just have, you know, check that. If you are comfortable, that's nice. Um, check the credential of the coach. Some people I know um, have gone through PMP coaching, have become trainers after that. They have no experience on project management. They have just acquired certain certifications and are teaching people. So just have a look at that because the discussion with a person who has gone through similar challenges like you is different than a person who has just read a book and is teaching you. So check that. Check the knowledge of a person, how knowledgeable the person is. Do you understand him or her? So Agile is one of the core important knowledge which is evaluated in the PMP exam. See whether your coach has Agile experience, comfortable with Agile or not. So these are few things I'm going to leave you with. Think about it while you select a PMP trainer or a coach. You can be a PMP in 2021. There are two months. Um, uh, the best practices, there are no shortcuts. Um, some people call me and ask me, can I become a PMP in 10 days? Sorry, there are no shortcuts. First of all, you learn. Learn the concept so that you become more confident while you explain it to your boss, while you do certain things in your office. Apply concept. Once you learn, you apply at your workplace. Make a plan to pass the PMP exam and keep on evaluating your knowledge. Doing a lot of questions is very important. Do questions from um, a valid source, good questions, good questions and good answers. That's pretty much it. I wish you all the best for your PMP journey. My name is Kavita and I can be reached at kavitasharma.net. Thank you for listening in and I wish you all the best. Have a great day today. Thank you. Bye-bye.